Hello, my name is Matthias Lehmann. I'm a product manager from Weinmann Emergency in Hamburg, Germany. And today I would like to give you a brief introduction to our Medomart Easy CPR. First, I'd like to show you the outside of the device. On the front, you can find an on off button, the manual ventilation button, alarm mute button, a control uh, button for the maximum pressure, the pressure gauge, and one control knob for ventilation frequency and volume. On the left hand side, you can find the oxygen inlet. On the right hand side, a speaker and a changeable battery. And on the back of the device, there's a mounting strap, for example, to mount the device to a stretcher. To connect the ventilation hose, you first connect the middle trigger, then the pressure hose, and then the ventilation hose. Then you are ready. To perform a function check, you will find all steps in the supplementary sheet function check for Minimart Easy CPR, which I'm going to show you now. You're going to connect the oxygen inlet pressure hose and the ventilation hose and the test bag to the patient valve. After this, you perform a systems leak check and then you can turn on the Minimart Easy CPR to test the supply pressure low alarm. For this, you're going to adjust the volume and close the oxygen bottle. Then you have to wait till the supply pressure low alarm turns on. After this, you open the oxygen bottle again. And now you're going to check the frequency the ventilation frequency. For this you turn the control knob to 65 milliliters and have to count the ventilations for one minute. There should be something about 23 to 27 ventilations per minute. To check the tidal volume and the airway pressure high alarm, you're going to adjust the control knob to 90, 950 milliliters and push the test back for the expiration and the airway pressure high alarm should light up. Next you are going to check the airway pressure low alarm. For this you are going to disconnect the test back and wait till the inspiration is applied and the airway pressure low alarm should light up. After this, you're going to check middle trigger. You connect the test pick again and turn on the manual mode. Now, when pressing middle trigger, the inspiration should be applied. To connect the demand mode, you turn the control knob completely to the right till the green LED of demand flow lights up. Now you can apply an inspiration with the test bag when you push it and hear the little click. Now the Franklin check is performed. To perform a ventilation with Medomart Easy CPR, you simply turn on the device and set the pa uh, parameters according to the patient. I'm going to use 305 milliliters and going to set the maximum airway pressure to 45 centimeter water. Water pressure. To perform a ventilation, to perform a, to perform a volume control 
controlled ventilation with Midomat Easy CPR, you simply turn on the device and set the parameters accordingly to the patient. I'm going to use 350 milliliters and as my patient is probably intubated, I'm going to use a maximum pressure of 45 centimeter water pressure. Please always remember to use a breathing system filter even if using disposable systems. To apply a peep, you simply connect the peep valve, peep valve to the exhalation valve of the patient. And now the peep is applied. To switch the device into the demand mode, you simply turn the control knob past the snap in position till the green LED lights up. Now the system is in the demand mode and applies 100% oxygen if the patient breathes in. To use the manual mode on the device, you activate, you turn the control knob back to volume controlled ventilation, activate the manual mode, and now you set the parameters accordingly to the patient, for example 500 milliliters, and to perform a ventilation with a ventilation mask, you simply connect the ventilation mask at the front and apply the valve to the patient's face. Use the double C technique and press one thumb to apply an inspiration. Okay. To turn off the device, you simply press the on off button again. Thank you for watching. You can find further information in the instructions for use or on our website wineman-emergency.com.